When it comes to our romantic lives, are we really just choosing between casual flings or lifelong commitment? A new study suggests it's not that simple. Our motivations for these different kinds of relationships might not be as opposed as we've previously believed. For a long time, scientists assumed that people who were more interested in casual sex were less interested in long-term relationships and vice versa. But this new study, published in Personality and Individual Differences, challenges that idea. The researchers wondered if it might be too simplistic to think of these desires as being on opposite ends of a single spectrum. They wanted to know if it's possible to be interested in both casual encounters and committed relationships at the same time, and how these different desires might affect our romantic lives. To find out, the researchers conducted a study with more than 300 people who were in romantic relationships. They used two different tools to measure the participants' desires. The first was a traditional, one-dimensional scale that measures interest in casual sex as opposed to committed relationships. The second was a new two-dimensional approach that looked at the desire for casual sex and the desire for long-term commitment separately. What they found was really interesting. People's desires for casual sex and for committed relationships were only moderately connected. This means that someone could have a strong desire for both at the same time. And when they measured these desires separately, they could better predict how satisfied, committed, and invested people felt in their relationships. For instance, those who strongly wanted a committed relationship were more satisfied and committed to their current partner. Meanwhile, those who had a strong desire for casual sex were more likely to be interested in other potential partners, which could pose a risk to their current relationship. So what does this all mean? It suggests that our desires for different types of relationships are more complex than we thought. Instead of being opposite ends of the same scale, they might actually be different dimensions that both play important roles in how we approach our love lives. If you're curious to dive deeper into this research, head over to SciPost.org for more details.